Well, it's hard to believe that it's been almost three years since construction started here at Highland Park Press. And then just as we were headed into the final stretch, COVID happened and we have learned so much and God has been so faithful in leading us through these uncertain days. And, and we wanna share with you about our worship life on the other side of construction, even though we're still very much in the midst of this pandemic. Now, I think it's important to point out that on any given Sunday, the overwhelming majority of those who are joining us in worship are doing that online. So this Sunday, we'll have a few hundred people in person and a few thousand people who are joining us and watching online. And we thank God for that, even as we affirm the importance of being able to gather together in person as a church. Now, one temptation could be, and I've certainly found myself thinking this way at times, is to just want to get back to normal, back to the way things were before COVID or before construction. But anyone who's ever renovated a house knows that you can't just go back to whatever normal was. Because along the way, you learn new things, you grow, you add new people to your family. And that has certainly happened here at Highland Park. 600 people have joined our church family in the time that we've been in these two realities of construction and COVID. Again, we're so thankful for all that God is doing. So our elders and our pastors have spent some time over the last few months praying and, and planning for how best to move into our future as it relates to our worship on Sundays. How do we best serve and engage everyone in our church and do that in a way that honors our unique traditions, legacies, and preferences? Now, one of the leaders, when we talk about worship, that, that I am so thankful to serve alongside, not just because he's super gifted, but because his greatest passion is helping more and more people experience more and more of God. And that's our director of music, Greg Hobbs. It is such an honor to serve and be a part of this Highland Park Presbyterian family. A few weeks ago, we sent out a worship survey, and we want to thank everyone who took the time to respond to that. Based on the feedback we received, I want to share with you an updated worship schedule beginning on Palm Sunday, March 28th. Here's what this will look like. At 8.15, we will continue with a traditional worship service in Wynn Chapel with weekly communion and music led by our organist, Yunmi Lim, and members of our chancel choir. Then at 9.30, we'll have a worship service in our sanctuary led by various music leaders, both contemporary and traditional, along with regular leadership from our children's choirs, Genesis Youth Choir, and the Handbell Choir we all love. The Mandarin Church will also meet at 9.30 in Wynn Chapel. Then at 11, we'll continue to have our traditional worship service in the sanctuary, which I will help to lead along with our chancel choir and other choirs as well. At that same hour, 11 o'clock, We'll have a contemporary worship service in the new Elliott Hall, and all nations will worship in Wynn Chapel. Now, for those of you involved with adult classes, most are planning to meet at 930 with growth courses offered at 11 throughout the year as well. For children, we will continue offering nursery at both 930 and 11. And then all of our children and Highland Kids programming through sixth grade will be at 930. Students will continue to gather at 11, and we will reach out to all our families with more details in the coming days. On behalf of our music and worship teams and our worship committee, I want to say thank you for your trust and encouragement as we walk through this new season together. Well, Greg, I am so grateful for your leadership and, and your love for this church. Now, we know that no schedule is perfect. And I want you to hear me say this, if we live into this and it doesn't seem to be working, we will adjust and we will do what's right. Nothing's permanent. We have all learned that over the last year. But here's what I want, what I want to ask of everybody who's part of this church family. For some of you, there may be a little disappointment or this is not ideal for you. And I, I wish I could make that better and, and that everybody would just feel 100% good about this. But I know that's not possible. And so I wanna ask if you are disappointed in this, uh, first of all, our worship committee led by elders and, and leaders in this church, as well as our pastors, we are here to process this with you. At the end of the day though, what's most important is being a church that can help people of every generation find and follow and fall in love with Jesus. And we think this schedule gives us the best opportunity to help raise up as many fully devoted followers of Jesus as possible. 
So last thing, and I really think this is important. Would you pray for our church? In this time of incredible momentum in the ministries and mission of Highland Park Press, pray that we would continue to be this joy-filled, laser-focused on Jesus kind of church. Because at the end of the day, what's way more important than preferences around worship schedule and, and music styles is that we are one body united around one mission and one person, the risen Jesus.